Hi, this is Denise. Welcome. And we have a huge hall in front of us, a great hall with some put togethers. Uh, it's a sponsored hall from Timu. And it is about, all about pets. Um, stay tuned. And also, immediately following this video will be another video with a put together. I'm not putting them together because it'd be over two hours. So we'll just see them separately. I love you all. Stay tuned. have a wonderful haul ahead and a little hint behind that your pets are the most important stars in your home hi it's Denise welcome to my home oh my goodness it's a beautiful summer day I guess it's not quite summer yet but it sure feels that way the Sun is shining oh my goodness the, it's warm it feels good on your body when you're out in it. How are you? How are you? Welcome. Welcome to my home. I'm so glad that you're here. I have coffee. Oh. It's not quite afternoon yet, so I can have coffee, right? I don't drink a lot of coffee, but I do like it. It doesn't like me sometimes. Well, today we have a wonderful haul that I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time. The uh, One of the items didn't come in until Saturday, Saturday afternoon, and it was a put together, so I needed to do that, and I did that yesterday. And I did film it, so I'm gonna be tacking that on the end of our video. If you want to watch it, it's about an hour long, but I did it. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, the name of this campaign is Loving Pets. And I was so impressed that Timu promoted me to level six um, influencer. And it's a, you know, it's a monthly deal. You have to qualify for it every month. And I'm still not sure why, but that's okay. Um, they gave me quite a bit of seating money. And I thought, you know, it would really be nice to be able to do something for my pets that I can't afford to do. So that's what I did. Um, Timu is an online marketing platform. Uh, there's so many things about Timu that are fun. One of them is doing what I'm doing right now and the benefits from that. Um, their prices are very low. Uh, they have cut out the middleman. Um, they have a couple of things that are really nice. Number one, the, the order threshold is, I think it's $15 now. It used to be free all the time, but $15 isn't much. And there are some affiliates of Timu that, that market under the Timu umbrella, and there's a 30 so, you know, be mindful when you're shopping. You might have, I think it's $2.99 shipping. It's not a big deal. Uh, what it cost to mail a letter almost, you know? Anyway, uh, there are games. There's Farmland and Fishland. If you look right here, my affiliate code, AFX04708. Please keep that with you. Anytime you open up the Timu app, put that in the search bar. 
anything that you purchase will link back to this channel so that we can have more hauls like this. It's really a fun deal. Um, and that's the compensation that, that Timu gives to their influencers. So with that in mind, let's just go for it. Uh, if you're brand new and you haven't shopped Timu before, go to the website take a piece of paper and a pencil and write down the kinds of things that you think you'd like to purchase. Check with your local vendors, the people that you would normally shop with. See if I'm not right with the prices. They're just phenomenal. Then when you're ready to make your order, go into my description link, uh, my description, page description, order description, haul description. It says description. Go in there, and you will find an order, whoops, you'll find an, an app link for new customers. You just click that link, uh, you put the uh, affiliate code that I gave you into the search bar. Now, you have a list, right? You know what you want, so go in and, and find it and purchase it. Uh, you have an hour to shop after, you're, after you download the app. Now, the fun part comes in. When you're ready to check out, not only are you going to appreciate a 30% discount on your first order. You know, these are items that are already deeply discounted. It's really a fun thing to do. And you have a $100 coupon bundle for subsequent orders. So your journey with Timu starts out strong and it's a lot of fun. Um, there are a lot of people like me out there that do hauls and different kinds of things to uh, cheer you on. Uh, and you can come here and cheer me on. That's really fun. I love you all. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. It's just wonderful. We have such a wonderful group here. I'm very, very blessed very blessed to have you all. I had no idea that this journey would look like this. Well, let's see. Oh, 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 I got to tell you about this. Now, because there are no middlemen, uh, the prices will go up and down in your uh, cart until you put the money on it. Once you put money on your order, the prices stay static and they'll never go up again. However, when the vendor puts stuff on sale, you'll be offered what's called a price adjustment. Now that price adjustment will equalize the difference between what you paid and what it is now. So that goes into your Timu credit uh, for your next order. And you know, some of these are huge. I've had $15, $20 uh, on an order um, that has been put in my credit. Uh, this one, no, because it's a sponsored haul. And a sponsored haul, what it looks like is Timu offers me the opportunity to do this. I go in and I select the products out of what they've shown me. If I don't find the products that I want, then I can go elsewhere within that same category and select products. They have a lot of them. Uh, then they send it to me gratis. I don't have to pay for the order. And when uh, I show you the order, I get to keep these things. And my babies are going to be so happy. They've been trying to get into the bags and stuff, and I've had to keep them out. Now the one thing, you can see it behind me. See that back there? That's a cat tree. And you know what, it's not um, itemized on the order. I don't know why. Uh, I did have some trouble with it, but we'll go into that. Okay, so are you ready? First thing up, orange bag, isn't that fun? I wish all the stuff came in an orange bag. It is the time of year for fleas. And what I found, these are ultrasonic flea repellers. 
Now, the sound is not supposed to affect the animals at all. It affects the bugs. And it's fleas and ticks and mosquitoes, that sort of thing. Now, um, I'd like to show it to you. They attach to their collar, and you before you let them out, you turn them on, and then you turn them off when they come in. They do have a battery, or, wait a minute, these may just be rechargeable. So many things are. Yep, it's got a little port there for a cord. And there might even be a cord in here. There is. There are instructions. And your little recharging cord along with a clip to put it on your dog's collar which is so super handy they send you the clip too so what you do this is like a jump ring I know about jump rings I don't have any pliers in here, of course. It kind of crisscrosses itself, so you have to slide it, whoops, slide it in there. And it holds on like this, and you clip this to your dog's collar. Now there is an on and off switch, and it did come charged. You can see the light, it'll tell you that it's charged and that it's on. You turn this on before they go out and the bugs are supposed to leave them alone. I am on a quest for poison-free flea control. I don't like to put that stuff on my animals. So this is a real promise of that possibility. Now normally um, you're able to get one thing at a time, but there were two vendors that put flea control options in this so I was able to get two. One of the vendors charged $4.49 for it. Now this isn't a disposable thing. This will continue to recharge and recharge. The second one was only $3.13. So check your vendors. Um, at the bottom of my description today will be order links for each of the products too. They're exactly the same. And they do have application instructions that tell you what it does and how to do it. So my babies, I pray that they won't be itching for very long. I do have flea control on them now. I got Bug MD and another drop that's supposed to be um, well, it's holistic. It's not a, uh, an insecticide. And they're still scratching. Bless their little hearts. I don't know. I think that once it gets hot, unless you have something really potent, you're not going to have a lot of luck. So be praying for me that this helps my babies. I have two dogs and six cats. And if I can help the dogs, the cats... Well, they kind of, I have one, Ginger, that likes to go outside and she slips between my legs and I can't keep her in. The other ones stay inside. So they kind of get pleased by proxy if they get brought in by the dogs and on your shoes and other stuff too. Now my babies have toys. So many babies do. And see, look at this is felt. And what does it say on there? It says dog toys. Now it has two wooden handles. You put them, you install them. This way. And then you can tote this. I think the other hand will fell on the floor. She's laying right on top of the bag, so I'm gonna have to make her scooch. 
it feels so good to me when the weather gets good. You know, it's it's such a relief. I'm gonna move this down just a bit. It's a little easier for me when I'm doing stuff because raising my arms up really high is hard. So I'm putting the handles on. This is really cute and it'll match any decor and it gives your animals a chance to have their toys accessible. I have a bucket right now. Uh, and because it's it's skinny at the bottom, you know, there are things that Hunter can't find. Lacey's not much of a player, but Hunter is. And look at it, it's deep. And you can put it like under a table, put it somewhere accessible for your animals. Now this, uh, the price that this was, was only $2.19. That's not bad. And it gives you flexibility in how you maintain your animal's toys. And it is felt. I don't know if this would be washable or not. I'm kind of guessing it wouldn't. So you don't want to feed them in it or anything. And I can see my cats getting in there to sleep too. And I have something else for them to help them with their sleep. I am excited about this. The little darlings. They deserve to have their own time. And their own goodies. Now. Can you get up for a minute? I don't know if you guys have pets. There are a lot of pets here, and there's a lot of hair. This is the ultimate lint brush from what I understand. It rolls and it has a, a catcher. It's kind of like a hand vacuum that can't really see anything on my dress. There's some clothes that grab it and some that don't. Um, but all the instructions on how to use it and how to clean it, there's just a, a little push button that opens this in the back to clean it. It doesn't have sheets that you pull out. So this is not disposable. It's something that you can use over and over again. Now this brush was $4.49 and well worth it. Well worth it. I walk around looking like I take my animals with me all the time. So I'm looking forward to using them. And what's in here? Oh, I know what's in here. Hunter, where are you? Come here. This is called a giggle ball, and it has a sound maker inside. It was three dollars and seventy-nine cents. Let's see. We'll see the proof is in the pudding here. Come here. He's interested. He's always over here. Come here. It almost talks, doesn't it? It's really hard, hard rubber. It says 5,000 years on it. And what that means, I don't know. But it has this noisemaker inside, so... Hunter does respond to the noisemakers. Yeah. Oh, he's afraid of it. 
He'll get used to it. A little snicker. Here's another toy that I found. Now he'll probably respond, respond to this one better. Oh, he's over there playing with it. Oh, we knocked it on the floor. Did you knock it on the floor? He'll figure it out. I didn't write the price of, of this. I forgot. I don't know why. I got I got the prices of everything else. Now this is just a little toy. A couple dollars, I'm sure. And it's supposed to have a squeaker in it, and it doesn't. So, well, it does, but it's not squeaking. It does have a little loop up here. If you wanted to use this for a cat toy, you can hang it and they could bat it around. So we'll see. Since it doesn't squeak, that's probably what I'll use it for. It's a woven material, and it doesn't have any buttons or anything like that that they can ingest. I like the way it's made. I think that it'll be healthy for them. Okay. I don't know how this happened. I think I chose the name on this, but it came as Bella. And Bella means beautiful, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on her anyway. It's a beautiful collar. And you can have it personalized with your dog's name. And it's only $4.99, and it's, it's leather. It smells like leather. And I got her a bigger collar because she's a bigger girl. But you see it's all rhinestones. And I believe it comes in blue and pink, so you can do your boy or your girl. And she's got a little crown, and it says Bella. She'll be the Bella of the ball. And I'll put her flea control thing on here before I put it on her. You know, it's funny about dogs. I don't know if you've noticed this. I'm sure you have. But like when you give them a bath or anything and you take their collar off, it's like you've taken a part of them off. They don't like it. They want it back on. Um, I remember watching Lady and the Tramp. And you remember when Lady earned her collar. That was so important. I haven't watched that in a long time. It's really cute. But this is her collar. Okay, that's all for this bag. Now, you know, I said that the, the felt thing would be good for, that the cats would probably want to lay in it. Look what I got for my kitties. Mama and the babies do lay together, even though they're all really big. Look what I found. This has a pillow in it. Look! Oh, I didn't see that. So I can take it out and wash it if I need to. That is so cool. And... This is what it looks like. It's soft and cushy, and it looks like a cat. It's got ears, and you know, it's got something to play with while they're just laying around. This is so cute. This bed was only $6.29. I can't believe the prices. You try to get a bed for an animal, and they're very expensive. I would say that to match this, now this is my guess, it would be about 20 bucks. I'm not saying that for sure, but I don't have anything to check in here. I think it would be about 20. And mama and the babies will both fit in there, because you know they curl up. Ginger is a kitty that does some really different things. 
and she digs in the water. So I have to change the water all the time because her little paws have been in it. And I think that it's because she wants it to move. I was able to pick up this. It's wonderful. It's I've seen it before. I've never had one, but it's a fountain for kitties or dogs. And you plug it in. Come here. Can you see the picture? It has like a faucet that runs. It's a perpetual. It has a reservoir under there and it's perpetual. I know that this is going to have to be filled several times a day because of the amount of animals that I have. But it has a filter to protect the motor. And it has the adapter to plug in. And this is the little faucet. Oops. And you plug it in and the water keeps coming out of here so it has it's constantly draining back but they have a reservoir here to drink out of that's moving and most animals really like this so we'll see how that works now the cord where does it plug in we're gonna figure this out i like it because it's clear too you can see everything there is to see I suppose I'm going to need to look at the instructions. I don't see a point to plug it in. Whoops. Oh, you know what? This is the motor. There is a hole or a, a, a cutout right there for the cord. So this goes on the inside, on the side or somewhere. We'll figure that out. It has little suction cups on it. And this is what transfers the water. And it does have uh, a little port here. Pet water fountain instruction manual. Please read carefully before use. Connect the silicon hose to the outlet of the water pump. I'm guessing that this is the part that goes to the water pump. So that goes here. It fits. And then your reservoir, put water in it. And this is you need a, a butt in for it to plug into the wall. But obviously this is submersible, the little motor. And it pumps the water all the way through here. And it needs to be plugged in. 
So I'm excited about this. And the suction cups keep it to the bottom. I was thinking it might go on the side, but it doesn't. And this is a filter so that any gookies that are in the water won't go back into the water. It'll only filter, you know, it'll only um, suck up water that has been filtered. Now, I'm thinking that this is more like a colander. It's not a filter like you have on your water faucet or it doesn't filter the water. It just gets the big chunks out. So you can empty that to keep it clean. I'm going to go ahead and put the instructions inside of it so that I don't know if you lose stuff, but boy, if it's paper, it gets lost in my house. The only thing worse than that is by email. And if it's in the email, I generally don't get it because it's lost. Now this is only $11.29. And you know, to eliminate the issues with the water, it's gonna be well worth it. It would have been well worth it for me to purchase that. I just couldn't afford it. Um, They call it aquarium equipment. Made in China. This device complies with the FCC rules. Operation is subject to the following conditions. This device may not cause harmful interference and this device must accept any interference received including interference that may cause undesired operation that kind of is talking in circles it is a pet water fountain and all of this remember will be linked in my description Now, we got the water squared away. What about the food? Here we go. I wish I could use that lint roller on my face. This is, now this is another water container. So if you have animals that don't like that particular way of getting water, you have this container and it has the, um, the sensor at the bottom to know when to drip more water in there. Plugs in makes it a very contained well you know it might be good for me to read instructions I don't want to right now but here it is so you put the food on one side and fill it all the way up because, look what it has. It has a lid. And that lid will keep everything neat and tidy. And the dogs won't get into the cat. And it automatically feeds into the bowl. This is a really neat deal. I'm very happy with it. You guys, 
nice. I'm showing your toys. And you know, this is only $9.97. It's a great deal. And for those of you that might have multiple animals, this is perfect. Or, you know, if you work during the day and you don't have a way to feed them on a continual, this is perfect. I do feed my animals free range. You know, they I don't have feeding times for them. So this will work really well for me. And for $9.99, it's a a perfect deal. This goes with it too. Oh, the trash truck is here. That's why they were barking. Okay. I'm excited about this one too. There's always a quest to find a way for cats to, you know, to keep their claws off my furniture. Look at that the ball. And it has that sizal rope on it. Now this item Where's the price on it? Take it easy, you guys. You're doing a good job. I know it's really hard not to bark. You'd be good. Okay. Well, we're going to just put this thing together. There's always stuff to put together, huh? This is a dress from Timu. I got it last year. And, oh my goodness, look at it. I got a little screwdriver. So that must mean that there are screws. And you know what that is? That's catnip. I made this necklace out of stuff from Timu. And these are Timu earrings. Okay. This is like a um, plywood. And it's got cutouts on it. They're kitty cutouts. And I see exactly what we're going to do. The dowels go in the little holes here, and then the other side is a screw hole. And here are the screws. piece that I'm not seeing. I think this goes through here. And it does have the holes tapped. first is just put this in. Get me a little screw here. These are Phillips head or the crosstop screws. And that's the little screwdriver that they gave me as a crosstop screwdriver. So I can add that to my toy chest. My toy chest. 
and all the holes are tapped. It's an easy peasy put together. These dowels are solid. This is a really nice piece of, I'm going to say furniture because it's cat furniture. It gets kind of hard to screw in as it goes. You might need to get some help with that. I think though that they're really going to like this. I hope so. Then you put the ball on there. Probably going to need to put all of the little bars on one side first, because otherwise they're not going to fit. Looks like they gave me a few extra screws too. Well, no, because I have the other side to do as well. It's fun to be able to get them stuff. I'm very grateful to Timo that they... And basically what the, the deal is with this is that, you know, they hope that as I show you these things, that it'll be your opportunity to see what this product is and if you like it, it's not buying sight unseen, you know, you'll be able to see it put together and know what it's going to take to put it together. And that'll be really neat. So those of you with pets, guys, cut it out. proud of them. I'm twisting this as I screw on the other side and it helps. Okay, so that's in, that's in. I need the screw on this side. Yes, that'll be done. Now on the other side, you won't have the opportunity to twist both ways. So that might be a reason to get a little bit of help, but I don't know. I'm sure there are those of you that just, this will just be easy peasy for you. It's not hard. It's not a hard put together. It's not complicated. Kitty to go up. So 
Put these in the holes. Are my cats just lazing around here? They must be because it's warm. Well, they did give me an extra screw. Bless their little hearts. They know me. If it's not on the floor, I don't know where it is, you know? If I drop it, a lot of my stuff lives on the floor because I drop it. I can pick it up though. I'm very blessed to be able to pick up stuff. So. I could be using a drill with this too. If you have a drill with a screwdriver bit, that would be perfect. If you have a husband, that would be even more perfect. I don't have one of those. Well, I do, but he's in heaven. And he can't screw this in for me. two more and then we'll be done. There's a lot of this in the video of me putting together the cat tree too, so. I used an Allen wrench with that. And that was a pretty easy put together too. It was more time consuming. There are more parts. And I'll take you over and show it to you. You'll be able to see the finished product on the video as well. I'm right-handed, but I'm left-hand dominant. And when I'm trying to use my left hand for stuff like this, it hurts my shoulders. So if you see me wince and stuff, I'm I'm sorry. I don't mean to. But yes, it does hurt. very, very blessed in so many ways. The shoulder joint is completely gone. And I was supposed to have surgery years ago. And I was just getting my grandkids. And I knew that I just couldn't do it. So I didn't. And 
it gets progressively worse. But obviously I'm I'm okay. They say it's a pretty big surgery, so I'm going to opt out. <laughs> I've had enough of that stuff. Oh, uh, guess what? We have a toy. Okay, where is the... with the cat nip in it. I showed it to you. What did I do with it? Here it is. So I think what I'm going to do... Now I can't find my scissors. Here they are. I'm going to sprinkle this on the ball and see if I can't get a cat over here. So we can see what it does. What she does. Kitty, 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 kitty! Are you anywhere near kitty kitties? show up. It's fun to watch in my cabinet, isn't it? They get kind of crazy. Okay. So we'll see what happens with this. If they show up, I'll show you. <sighs> Gotta get some of this stuff out of the way. And there's more. I think I've talked to you about wanting to keep the kitties out of my craft room. And I haven't wanted to be in there because I have to close the door and I don't like that for a number of reasons. Oh, there's my cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. Look. Look. Kitty, 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 kitty. She's licking it. Look here, baby. Look. You can spin it. She's not going to let the babies get to it, is she? When you eat enough of that stuff, you'll be crazy all day. I think it'll be a win. Look at she's rubbing on it. Okay, we got to see her. One of the other things that I, I got when I was telling you about um, not wanting the animals in my craft room, this is a gate. I'm not sure.
I don't think it's a permanent gate. For details, please refer to the video in our product link. I'm thinking what I'm seeing is that you mount on either side of the wall and then you clip in the the gate. Now this won't be anything for the cats, it will probably keep the dogs out. Oh, this is huge. I wonder if I could do it this way. Up and down. It looks like it's the width of a, a door. It's showing it long ways. Like this. But ideally, I would like to use it up and down because that would keep the kitty cats out, too. I'll have to let you know what that looks like when... when I get it done. Um, all the hardware is in here. There are three cats now at this. And they're right by the tripod, so I need to move it. Hold on, kitties. I moved it a little bit. They're rubbing on it. It'll be fun to see them happy and playing. All of the bars and stuff for the um, gate are in here. And there are connectors. And it looks like everything is like they're stickies. It's not a drill. You don't have to drill anything into your wall. And they do have a product link that you can get on the internet and look at. Suitable for various scenarios, pet friendly. Portable mesh gate for pets. Um, no, it doesn't show any applications of it being up and down. I suspect it can be, though. I have more of these stickies, so what it does is it hooks on. It has hooks on it at various points. And I can... Hook it to either side of the door. And then I'll be stuck inside. Oh, they're liking it. They are liking it. Now I bought something, or I, I requested something that doesn't have to do with my kitties or dogs. It is a hummingbird feeder. And it's really kind of cool. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I can see lots of various applications for this. It has, you know, your little cup that you can put um, your stuff in. And then on the top of it, it's got little holes in it for their, their little skinny beaks. So it's going to keep the, the water, the formula, clean and maybe free of ants and creatures 
the top comes off. You put in what you want and close it. And you know, this is kind of neat because you can put it at various different places. It doesn't all have to hang together. They're all independent or they can be hooked together. Did I tell you how much that gate was? Oh, you know, I think that I just crumpled up the... I think the gate was $6.19. That's really a good price, you know? It'll be a good thing to to use and a great price for it. The hummingbird feeder, you can opt for one level, two level, or three. And I did get the three levels. And I paid $1.99 for it. That's pretty amazing. I didn't pay for it, either did. It's really attractive, too. Very, very easy to use. And what a fun thing for the grandkids to watch. It's got perches on there for the birds. And then it has the main hook. Uh, well, you could hook them independently. There are two big items that, that were part of this that I want to show you. And they're both contraptions for the kitties. And they call them both cat towers or cat trees. Um, the first one I'm going to show you, they don't call it a cat tree, but they list all the different things that the cat can do. And this is it. You see that? It has the net on the back that they can climb. It has a little ball. It has a, a hammock on the bottom, and it has places for them to use their claws. This is $14.99, and has hair on it. Imagine that. This was not hard to assemble either. And we'll just see how they like it. They really haven't let me know yet. The other is the cat tree, and you'll see that. Well, rats. I'm sorry, guys. What happens when I start messing around? I'm going to try to fix this. Well, I guess that I'm still just kind of fumbling, bumbling around, huh? I don't know if I'm ever going to have professional stuff, but you are very tolerant of me and my unprofessionalism. <sighs> Anyhow, <clears throat> that climbing device for the animals is just 14 dollars 
and I think in essence that it could be a really good thing. They haven't gotten used to it yet, so uh, I can't say whether they really like it or not. They really like this ball. They really do. They like the catnip, huh? Cats looking underneath the, the rug to find out what's under there. Well, I'm going to show you the cat tree on the video after this of the assembly. Um, I'm afraid if I pick you up and take you over there, I'll drop you again. So uh, it will be linked back to back with this. So it'll just go into the new video uh, after I close this. Um, gosh. It's been wonderful being with you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Timu, for sponsoring this haul. Remember, I will link my code up here again. If you find anything, if you find that there are items that you'd like to purchase, know that in my description box, there will be not only the... Um, descriptions and the prices but there will be product links as well. Um, I don't think there's a product link for the cat tree. The cat tree was $34.97. Um, it's a cat tree for, there's the trash man. It's a cat tree for kittens. It's not a cat tree for adults. My cats will obviously play with it, but it's not very big, and it has tipped over twice uh, when the cats launched themselves off of it. So, you know, this isn't Timu's issue. The vendor should have been more specific. I looked and looked and looked for a cat tree that didn't specify that it was for kittens or specified that it was for older cats. And this one was supposed to be. Um, be careful when you're looking. Cat trees are wonderful. Uh, it tried to kill me yesterday. I had it in the middle of the floor after I fixed it and was watching the kitties when they were playing with it. And he launched himself off and the cat tree came at me. Um, I'm fine. It didn't get me. Uh, I'm going to need to uh, reinforce it to the wall. And maybe that's the way it is with all of them. It doesn't say that. Um, but maybe that's just what you need to do with cat trees. It's really a nice product, and I think that the, the quality is very good. The base of it isn't big enough to withstand the weight and the, the thrust of, a, of an adult cat jumping off of it. He's in the... She's in the mode of being a little bit off from the catnip. <laughs> um, once again, thank you so much for being here. I probably shouldn't have called the kitties over, huh? Gosh, everything is just all a mess. I love you, and I thank you so much for being here. Remember, if you're a new customer, to use that code in the description box that I gave you, plus the download link, and you'll be privy to receive 30% off your, your first order, and you'll get to enjoy a $100 coupon bundle that you can use on subsequent orders. There are codes for my games, Fishland and Farmland, in there and you can become a friend and get fish food and water for yours. You can win those things, I have. And they're really good prizes. So, thank you so much for being here. I love you all. And until next time. <laughs>